everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of wide receivers who certainly want to be targeted throughout the game. It's the Giants going up against the Panthers. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the Vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the New York Giants. And we say hi again, everybody. Brandon Gordon here as we count down to kickoff. I turn to my partner, that's Charles Davis. And Charles, Larry pointed out in the open, we've got a pretty good matchup of wide receivers here this afternoon, don't we? And those guys have such a big impact on the game nowadays. We know it's a throwing game, but the guys who can go up and get it, the guys who can break tackles after the catch and make bigger plays, oh yeah, they love spotlight as well. They want the football, they want the attention. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Eli Manning looking set to bring out this New York Giants offense. And the talk last year for him in a Giants season that didn't go the way they had hoped was that he saw his streak of 210 consecutive starts snapped in week 13. He wants to continue playing. Now the question, will he be back in New York? Now that they are under new management, new general manager, will be hiring a brand new head coach, I think the odds are that Eli Manning will have a great chance of being back as a New York Giant. I know things really got sideways during the 2017 season, but remember, he missed the one start, came back, reclaimed his job, and finished the season as a starting quarterback for the New York Giants. If they believe he gives them the best chance to win, he will be the quarterback in 2018, and that's what I expect to happen. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. They'll run again now with Darquan. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It's a loss of two, now third down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Working from the gun, Manning. He finds Beckham complete. Odell Beckham Jr. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Odell Beckham, 67 yards. And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it. Get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. 
It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. Five plays there on that drive, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Rosas now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. They're led out by their big-bodied electric quarterback, Cam Newton. Cam has all the skills that you're looking for, the arm that can do everything, the ability to run, hard to bring down because of his size, but the joy that he plays the game, I think that's his stock and trade. That's his calling card. That's what sets him apart from other players. They start on the ground. This is Stewart on first. And shutting him off. Now open field. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Time running out here on the play clock. This is Stewart again. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. Play clock winding down. Here's Newton now on second down. Flushed out right. Oh, he's able to out-muscle him here as he pulls it in. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And the defense for New York. So many people at Landon Collins scouted as a guy who's excellent in run support and would struggle in pass coverage, especially in the back end of the defense. But in 2016, he made a massive jump as a safety, able to drop in the box, cover deep, and make plays on the football. In fact, I talked with his coach in the offseason, and he told me he's about 65 to 70% of reaching his potential. And the play clock's running down. Back to throw, Newton. Got his target, Samuel. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. That throw's not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here, game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. That's what they were aiming for. You want to keep moving the sticks, get into a rhythm, gain confidence as you go along. And right now, mission accomplished. And he's brought down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively, they rally quickly after the broken tackle. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. On second down, here's Newton. And he is going to go down. They sack him. 
on the final play of the first quarter. So they'll give a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've hit the end of quarter one. Seven nothing is our score. We're back to Uptown Charlotte after this timeout. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. They're in the midst of a nice drive, but facing a third and long here. A shotgun snap for Newton. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, but the net gain, three points. And you're going to have drives like that in this league. Sometimes you just got to take the three and move on. Always better than nothing. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. For the New York Giants, as their offense comes back out there, yeah, last year, 3-13, and 13, and that was off from just a year of being a playoff team at 11-5. and five. They were 31st in total points, 31st in overall defense, so a lot of changes need to take place. They certainly do, and frankly, the 11-5 and five season masked the changes that are coming now because their numbers weren't that great in the 11 and 5 season. Somehow they found a way to win those key important games and accumulate a nice record. But you look at the there he goes right side. Touchdown Giants. Orleans Darqua 77 yards and the Giants strike quickly here for six points. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. Rosas now to add the PAT. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. Rosas now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Now a first down throw for Newton. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. 
But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to it. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Jonathan Casillas in from his linebacker spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. To throw on second down is Newton. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does, because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but they have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks. Those guys are worth their weight in gold. Newton on first down. It's caught by Funches. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Newton throwing again. His throw caught at about the five. And all the way down inside the five and the four. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop him? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Turns and hands to Stewart. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Jonathan Stewart taking it in from four yards out. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. Graham Gano on for the extra point. He's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And it's capped off by a Jonathan Stewart run. Gano out to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't that 100-yard mark? It really has. And that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a 1,000-yard mark. I'm wondering, since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to up that a little.
Now Manning throwing on second down. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I'm sorry, but it's almost unfair. I mean, Brandon Marshall can make so many plays, but even when you think he's covered, He's not. No, he's really not. <laughs> he uncovers and makes a play on you and picks up good yardage in doing so. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment, the defense. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. Shotgun now for Manning. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. That'll bring up second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. Now a first carry here for Shane Vereen. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Here's Brad Wing now to punt it away on fourth down. This is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. They go play action with Stewart. Now Newton. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. The Panthers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and 19. Now Newton. It's caught Shepard. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Set, 
Now Newton on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Second down here after the incomplete pass. The play fake to Stewart. It's Newton. Eluding the pressure right. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. The Panthers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and ten. Throwing again is Newton. And he gets it to Funches complete. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, Brandon, thanks. And welcome, everyone, to our EA Sports halftime report. Let's get to the highlights. The Panthers haven't played their best football and trail because of it. The Giants will want to come out after the half and really put the pressure on from the start. All right, let's roll those moving pictures. Now midway through the first, pass will be completed to the sidelines, and it leads to a touchdown. They strike first in the half. First and 10, they'll go with the run here, and he'll win the sprint to the end zone. Giants go up by 11. Now early in the second quarter, Casillas is able to zero in on the QB here. This will go as a loss of 10. Later on the drive, Stewart's got it on the run, and he kept off the long drive with the TD. Panthers trail now by four. That'll do it from here in Orlando. Let's get you up to North Carolina for the second half with Brandon and Charles. Gents. Fielded about a yard deep. Muscles him off. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Time for our player's spotlight, and it focuses in here on Cam Newton. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Yeah, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Shrugs him off. It's hauled in by Shepard. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second down now after the pass completion. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Here's Newton. And this will complete right side to Funches. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first down, it's Newton. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play right in his hands, 
unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Hey, 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 hey. To throw again. Newton. It's caught right side. Dixon. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory even if they don't get it, though. Newton now to throw. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Time running out here on the play clock. Now Newton. And the tight end Olsen, right side. Oh, and now he bowls him over. 19 on the last play, 19 more here, and another first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Play clock winding down. Now a play fake here on first down. Escape. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Cam Newton, a four-yard touchdown scamper. And his guys are able to strike for six. And maybe there, that was just a case of completely overlooking the guy holding the football. It certainly felt like it, didn't it? Because on my checklist, okay, as a defender, <laughs> QB's last, running back, fullback, heck, jet sweeps nowadays. Before you even get to thinking about the quarterback, might actually keep it. Gano now to add the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and Cam able to take it himself in for the score. Gano out to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. near the 40 to the 39. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Here's Darquan. And maybe a measure.
measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make this a second and 13. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. They'll run it now out of the gun. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Three yards on the pick up there, but they've only got it back to third and 10. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Throwing his Manning on third down. A dump off to Vereen. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Brad Wing now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Here's Brad Wing now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Brandon's all about pace and tempo now for them. They've got the advantage, so I'm going to put musical terms for you. You don't want to go prestissimo. That's too quick, too lively, right? But you also don't want to slow it down too much. You don't want to go lento. What you really want to be is Moderato. Uh, nice and even, uh, nice and steady. Get those gains and close out the game. I think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> and the play clock's running down. On first and 10, Newton. And caught left side, Olsen. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands and let him work his way upfield with a catch. Fresh set of downs here. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They go play action here on first down. That's gonna go as a loss of four and it'll be second down. Second down, here's Newton. He's going to go deep, and that's caught inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. 
Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Back to the ground now with Stewart. And shedding the tackle and now some room. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the 5 yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. From the gun, here's Newton. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Jonathan Stewart, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. And then his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Gano out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The New York set to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Throwing on first down is Manning. And nearly picked off there. And it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances. But I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. They'll run it now out of the gun. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. No gain on that run. And while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. They'll run here with Kareem. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Manning, got to have this one. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. 
difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for a strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. Carolina getting set to take the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They keep it on the ground again to Stewart. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. The Panthers on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and four. To throw is Newton. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And a broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Throwing here, Newton. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Devin Funches, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. And the lead will grow by one more. Just a four-play drive that time. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Gano out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. That throw good for four. It's second down. On second down, here's Manning over the middle, and it's caught. Brandon Marshall, the 40. He's at the 30, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Brandon Marshall, 71 yards. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now, it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Oh 
Rosas to add the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And it looks like the Panthers' hands team does its job. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. The Panthers down to a knee out of the victory formation. The Panthers on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This is going to be third and 13. This one going to wrap up with Cam Newton going down to a knee. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. to throw here and it's incomplete it's still throwing to the very end but now this game is over Charles we saw a lot of points go up in this one certainly defensively stuff that they can look at on film don't you think no doubt about it and they've got to go back and check where the errors are how they're going to fix them and continue to get better at what they do but they also need a little adjustment with their confidence to give up that many points even if you win a game that can hurt you So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte. I go out for my squad and I put that on God. Squad!